All right, so I've spent the last couple minutes here cleaning the uh, um, wind shear. Um, can't, sorry, my mind just went blank all of a sudden when I just started talking. But uh, so this is a brushless motor right here. So I've uh, got my four stationary uh, magnets inside of here. So we clean these up. And then we also cleaned up uh, the contactor here. And uh, we're just uh, going to let this dry for just a little bit. Um, the rag I used was a little bit damp. Uh, I don't know, took off quite a bit of grease on both sides. I'm sure my wife is going to be quite happy that I'm using uh, these rags. But uh, they're Canadian Tire uh, shop towels that uh, uh, seem to do the job pretty well. But uh, anyways, um, we'll let this dry for a little bit and then we're going to uh, put the uh, uh, casing back on and then we're going to apply some power to it and we're going to see if uh, this motor starts spinning again, uh, which I believe it should. Um, I can show you right now that uh, if I do spin the motor here, We'll just slowly spin it, but anyways, while I'm spinning it, if put it close, you'll see that the winch is indeed turning. Let's see if I can make it less shaky, because I know someone was commenting on one of my last videos that uh, my videos were a little shaky, but uh, I'll try and make it a little bit less shaky this time, and I can see right now that uh, the... Uh, winch is actually spinning so uh, that is a good thing that shows me that uh, the planetary gears are good on this side which we're going to open up anyways after we've got the motor working and uh, we're going to grease those all up and just make sure there is nothing actually binding inside of there as it is a little bit sticky when I uh, change directions but uh, anyways I will uh, make another video in just a few minutes once uh, this is dried up and I can apply some 12 volt power to it.